it's Alicia welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to be doing some meal prepping and Sundays are my go-to meal prepping days so I figured why not go ahead and take you all along and show you guys what I am meal prepping for the week I'm actually trying out a few different things today because I want to switch it up and not do what I typically do so it'll be fun and it'll also give you guys some variety as far as what I do eat I have done some what I eat in a day videos in the past but this will probably be a little bit different than what I typically um, do in those videos I am going to pour me a glass of wine <laughs> y'all I just I have to milk prepping can be like so just tedious to wear I figured get a glass of wine y'all have some music playing as well but I'm talking to y'all so I can't have the music on but usually I make it a fun thing turn some music on, drink some wine, and get to work. Y'all, this is so good. If you guys are wondering, I'm drinking the Stella Rosa Black. I just tried it for the first time yesterday, and I'm hooked. Like, this stuff is like almost like grape juice, but it's it just tastes so good. And I'll be drinking it all throughout this video <laughs> um so let me go ahead and get started so first i'm going to try to create some kind of like chicken vegetable rice medley in a glass pan what i have is these um chicken breasts it's the tyson brand the grilled and ready chicken breast so i'm gonna use a couple of these i also have the campbell's oven sweet teriyaki chicken sauce I'm not sure about you guys, but I have realized that I am only really good at sticking to my meal plans if the food is like really savory, it's it's seasoned well, like it has to taste really good and just be bomb for me to want to continue to eat it. So I figured I want to start including more sauces and like seasonings to make my food like really good and I want to keep eating it over and over and over. So yeah, and then I also have this rice 90 second rice i have a couple of these that i bought to last me all throughout the week so i'm about to go ahead and first put this um rice in the microwave and then i'll also be using this asparagus the um bird's eye steam fresh asparagus i have two bags of this and i'm going to use this um to mix it with the rice and chicken and our baking dish as y'all can tell the prep time for this whole entire meal is super easy and quick so once the rice is out of the microwave, I have to go ahead and pop these in there. So here is our baking dish and I went ahead and warmed up some of the um, 90 second rice. So I'm just going to pour this all over and kind of spread this all around. I don't need a ton of rice and it's just me eating this meal so I don't want more than two bags because then it will get a little excessive. And I'm trying to somewhat limit my carb intake, so that's why I don't want to add any more rice than I already have um, in this baking dish right now. Next, I'm going to place some chicken breasts and just lay them in the baking dish. I'm using four. I'm really big on having some sort of like green vegetable, whether it be salad, spinach, um, kale, broccoli, asparagus. Just something green and healthy. We add the other bag of asparagus. And we just spread that all over. And then last but not least, we are going to add the um, sweet teriyaki sauce. Ooh, it smells so good. Uh, now I'm just taking my fork and kind of spreading the sauce all over. So that way every piece of food has the sauce at least somewhat on it. So this is how our dish is looking. We have the rice, the veggies, and the chicken. So I'm going to put this in the oven for about 30 minutes to warm up the chicken and to also allow the sauce to really settle into the food. So while that is in the oven, I'm gonna move on to our next meal, which will be a breakfast meal. And this is something that I have done on my channel before, and that is the egg white bites. I love, love, love those. All you need is some chopped spinach. I used to chop up my spinach using a blender, but I came across this chopped spinach at the grocery store and I figured, oh, why not go ahead and just get it to save myself some time? And then I also have 
my egg whites as well as my um, turkey sausage crumbles and this is by the Jimmy Dean brand because this is already fully cooked I won't have to microwave this before I um, add it to our baking dish but I definitely will have to steam the um, chopped spinach first so let me do that really quick and I will show you guys the next steps of the process all right so let's get right to it first we are going to take three cups of the egg whites Next, I'll toss in the chopped spinach. We got our turkey sausage, and we'll go ahead and add that. I don't do this but today I want to add a little bit of mild cheddar cheese I'm going to drizzle just a little bit of the cheese into our mix just to give us some more flavor so I will again mix that all together and then lastly I'll add a bit of pepper just to add some seasoning To make pouring this mixture into here easy, I'll usually just first pour this mix into here since it has a spout, and then I will slowly start to pour in each of these um, cups, and it just makes it so much easier. This is how the pan is looking. I just need to pop these in the oven for 25 minutes. So I'll just go ahead and put this in the oven with the vegetable, chicken, and rice hash. And then um, it should be done around the same time. almost done as far as cooking goes so the last meal on the agenda is kind of like a stir fry so what I have are two bags of steamable green beans whole green beans so I got two bags of those I also have some more white rice I have two bags of those um, I have the general TSO stir fry sauce and then last but not least, I have some ground turkey. So all I'm going to do is just pretty much mix this all into a skillet. Of course, I'll show you guys step by step how I make it and mix it all together. But first, I'll just be cooking this turkey and then I'll go in and toss in the green beans as well as the rice and um, stir fry sauce. That is pretty much it for that meal. Super duper easy, quick. So let's go ahead and get that started. So while the ground turkey is cooking, I wanted to pop the salmon into the oven. And this is just the pan seared teriyaki sesame salmon that I got from Target. So I'll just go ahead and cook both of these um, in a pan in the oven and then just eat these for dinner the next couple days. Now I'm just going to toss in our veggies our rice and our sauce. Now 
Now that we have all the food cooked, I want to show you guys exactly how I separate um, all my food for the week. So these are our um, egg white bites. So what I like to do is just individually wrap these in some saran wrap. So that way in the morning I can just grab one and go and you know I'm good or grab two and go. So just wrapping them up individually saves me so much time in the morning. So I'll just take one, wrap it up, and we're good to go. And I just do that for all of the other egg white bites. These egg white bites are pretty filling if you eat them just by itself, but typically I'll eat like one or two of these with a smoothie in the morning, and I'm good. I'm good for breakfast. I'm gonna take my Ziploc bag and put six of the egg white bites in here. And I'll just toss this bag in the, um, the freezer and store the rest of these just as is in the refrigerator. Next up, we have our vegetable um, rice and chicken medley. Y'all, this smells so good. I know I keep saying it, but <laughs> it really does smell really, really good. So what I'll be doing is I'm separating them out into these meal prep containers. I got these on Amazon, so I'll go ahead and link them down below. So I'll grab one piece of chicken and place it in the meal prep container. And then also take some asparagus and some rice and place it in the smaller parts of the um, meal prep container. And this will make four meals, by the way. And I'll just pop on the lid and there you have it. So I'll go ahead and do this for the rest of um, our little medley, hash, whatever you call it. And then I'll put probably two of these in the refrigerator and two of these in the freezer. Next, we have our stir fry. And so for this one, I plan to just section this off in half. So half of the stir fry will go into this big container and I'll save it for next week's uh, meal prep. And then the other half of the stir fry will go into these uh, meal prep containers. Since with this meal, the chicken, rice, and vegetables are all mixed together, I already know that I'm going to want to eat something else with it. So what I'm going to do is add a few grapes to each of the meal prep containers. So I'll just place a few of these grapes into a small baggie. So that way I know I have a nice healthy side and I won't be tempted to go get chips or something with this meal. And we're good to go. All of the grapes are stored and now our second lunch or dinner option is ready. Lastly, we have our salmon. Typically I won't meal prep this or I guess put it in a container because I usually eat this for dinner. So there's no reason for me to separate it since I'll be at home to do all that. But what I will do is just put these salmon, um, both pieces of salmon into this container. So that way during dinner, I can just take a piece of salmon out, eat it with a salad and I'm good for the night. And for my salad, I typically will eat the baby spinach. This container here, so I'll just sprinkle some spinach on a plate, put a piece of salmon on the plate, just a little bit of olive oil or some dressing, and I am good to go. That pretty much wraps up my meal prep for the week. I'm covered for lunch, dinner, and breakfast for the entire week, so I have nothing to worry about. Just takes the stress off of me. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And if you guys wanna see more food videos, meal prep videos, whatever the case is, go ahead and comment down below what you guys wanna see next. As always, I love y'all. Have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye, guys. Mm.